So if you're here, you've probably seen my older video and realized, hey, this doesn't work in Creative Cloud. And that's right, sometimes it just doesn't seem to work. So here's a slightly different method to get this working again. Now, I'm currently using After Effects 2020 in this video, but I've done this frequently since 2019. They both seem to be in the same level of angriness in terms of the original method for this. So a quick recap of the previous video if you haven't seen it. When you add a puppet effect, it builds a mesh either by the art layer or any masks that you've made, but you can't update this mesh. So if you want to change the mesh, what we're going to do is move our pins and animations to a new mesh. In this example, I'm just going to change the mask, and it's going to build a mesh from that mask. First, I'm going to disable the original puppet effect, so when we add a pin, it will create a new puppet effect and build a mesh for it. This is especially helpful if you're shrinking your mesh down. Then I'm going to hit the P key twice to bring up the puppet pin keys in the timeline. And just to make this a little bit simpler, I'm going to rename the new puppet pin that it created. I'm going to click and drag the mesh from this new puppet effect into the original puppet effect. And now I'm going to drag the original pins from the original mesh into this new mesh. Then I'm going to delete the single pin that the new mesh made, the old mesh, and the new puppet effect that we created just to make this mesh. And then all we have to do is re-enable the original puppet effect. So for some reason, this breaks everything. The more complicated the scene, the more graphical problems I tend to have. But what we need to do now is save and reload the project. Now I'm going to recommend always saving a copy so you don't lose anything, but I'll also say that I have yet to have this ever break anything. This has always worked for me. The fastest way to reload is to just make any change after saving. I'm just going to hide a layer and then I'm just going to hit File, Revert. And there you go, everything is fixed. And just like in the previous video, because this is a new mesh that has been generated, your mesh is not going to be one-to-one -one exact. The more similar the two mesh shapes are to each other, the closer that they will be. So don't forget to make sure that everything is lining up properly. 